Hi friends welcome to trending places today we showcase you about Varosha a ghost town in Cyprus that was abandoned in the 1970 Varosha was a thriving resort town with skyscraping hotels fashionable retail areas and sandy beaches that were commonly referred to as the greatest in Cyprus prior to the 1974 split of Cyprus During the 1974 Cyprus war the suburb of Varosha or Maris in the city of Famagusta was abandoned The invading Turkish army walled the area off and it has remained that way ever since. It appears to be locked in time with clothes remaining on store shelves, residences and vacation rentals unaltered in nearly 50 years. Some of the lights in the buildings were even left on for years after the evacuation. It's probably preferable to look at the history of Cyprus as a whole to understand the story of Varosha. In 1570, the Ottomans conquered Cyprus and murdered thousands of the island's Greek and Armenian Christians. The millet system, in which non-Muslim peoples were governed by their own religious authorities, was implemented by the Ottomans. The Greek Christians on the island were led by the Church of Cyprus, a part of the Greek Orthodox Church. From then on, the island would be home to both Greek and Turkish Cypriots. Many people called for a union between Greece and Cyprus after the Greek War of Independence in 1821. Anosis, as it was known, was fueled by years of Ottoman neglect and extreme poverty. Following the Russo-Turkish War, Cyprus was leased to the British Empire during the Congress of Berlin in 1878. It was also at this congress that Austria-Hungary seized control of Bosnia and Herzegovina. Although the island technically remained Ottoman territory, the British Empire effectively conquered Cyprus when the Ottoman Empire entered World War I in November 1914. The British offered Cyprus to King Constantine I of Greece in exchange for Greece joining the British side in the war the following year, but the king declined. The Turks relinquished their claim to Cyprus after the war, and it became a British crown colony in 1925. Under British control, Greek Cypriots continued to push for anosis or Greek Cypriot unification. Ethniki Organosis Kyprian Agonistan, or National Organization of Cypriot Fighters, started an armed fight to break free from British authority and combine with Greece. Fearing that they might be forced into union with Greece against their will, Turkish Cypriots began to advocate partition as the best possible conclusion. Following an agreement between Britain, Greece, and Turkey, Cyprus gained independence on August 16, 1960. Violence broke out between the two factions not long after. In 1964, Turkey planned to invade the island to safeguard the Turkish minority, but US President Lyndon B. Johnson warned against it, believing that the Soviet Union might intervene on Greece's behalf. In response, King Constantine II dispatched 10,000 men to Cyprus and called for a quick union with the motherland. President Makarios III of Cyprus was deposed on July 15, 1974, in a coup staged by the Greek military junta. Their objective was to compel the country to join the Greek Federation. Five days later, on July 20, 1974, the Turkish army invaded the island to restore the constitutional order that had been agreed upon in 1960. The Turks took control of an area stretching from Karenia on the northern coast to the Turkish sections of Nicosia city. A ceasefire was swiftly reached, and the constitution was restored, with a temporary authority in place until Makarios III, who had fled during the coup, could return. Despite the ceasefire, on August 14th, a second Turkish invasion occurred, this time taking more area in the northern portion of the island, including the city of Famagusta. Varosha was evacuated and sealed off at the time of the invasion. Varosha had once been a wealthy tourist destination with hotels, restaurants, and pubs. It was popular among North and West European travelers, as well as wealthy Greeks. The majority of Greek Cypriots escaped the fighting between the Greek and Turkish soldiers in Famagusta during the Turkish invasion, aided by the British military, who had maintained outposts on the island since it was a crown colony. Many people fled to Perlimni, Hyrynia, and Lanaka in the south. The Turkish army surrounded Varosha with barbed wire and refused to let anyone in. Following the assault, the island was divided into a UN buffer zone. In the north, 180,000 Greek Cypriots were expelled, while in the south, 50,000 Turkish Cypriots were relocated. 
the UN took control of Nicosia Airport, which is located in the buffer zone. The Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus declared independence from the rest of the island in 1983. Except for Turkey, it is not recognized by any UN member. Prior to Cyprus joining the European Union, a peace proposal proposed by UN Secretary General Kofi Annan was submitted to a referendum in 2004. The Turks voted in favor of the initiative, but the Greeks voted against it. Since then, both parties have held reunification negotiations, while more commentators have stated that partition may be the best solution as time goes on. Varosha, a once sophisticated coastal resort in Cyprus's restricted zone, is now available to guests again. International celebrities such as Elizabeth Taylor, Richard Burton, and Bridget Bardo have stayed in the Famagusta hotels. The Turkish government has reopened the ghost town to tourists. Since the beachfront sector of Turkish Cyprus was partially reopened to the public in 2020, more than 200,000 tourists have visited Varosha. Hope you have enjoyed watching the video. Do like and subscribe.